One, two, one, two, three, four. Hey everybody, this is Alchemisted, and this is once again Star Trek Online, Rise of the Red Shirt. Last time we played hide and seek with a few Klingons, and this time it turns out you can stop the signal, because, well, that's what we're going to do. Stop the signal. That's what it says right there. Stop the signal. You've already completed this mission. Da 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 da. <clears throat> we have decrypted some of the information you found at the Klingon listening post in the Pulsan Nebula, and Starfleet Intelligence believes there is at least one more of these posts out there. We have the location of a signal repeater, which boosts the subspace transmissions from these listening posts. Starfleet wants you to go to the Bomari system, find the signal repeater, and use it to track down the coordinates of the other listening post. When you have the location, transport a team down to the surface and take it out. We can provide you with spatial charges to get the job done. Can we count on you to keep Starfleet communications safe? Of course you can. A bunch of useless rewards that I won't take, but I will sell. Let's see. Starfleet Merits, 24. Skill points, 58. Wow. 58 skill points haven't really meant much to me for a long time. Huh. Except... Those brown coats, they'll never get the word out now. <laughs> Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Bomari. And I am beaming to my ship from my ship. Once upon a time, that didn't happen. I, it happened, and then it stopped happening. You just sort of despawned, and you respawned in space as your ship, so I'm not sure wh where I'm beaming to, or if my character really is that lazy. Which, knowing me... I guess he couldn't put it past him. Kasei. So right now I am in the regular sector block. But we're not going to be doing shit in the regular sector block right now. That's for later. So I'm going to take a shortcut through the briar patch and go back to the serious sector block. Seriously. That was terrible. I apologize. And I'm going to put on the Borg engine, assimilated sub-transwarp engines, to use them for the only purpose that I use them for, which is to get places faster. We will be visiting the Briar Patch later, but not right now. And as we enter the Briar Patch, you're going to notice the cool little uh, space changey effect thing that happens when you enter a nebula in the uh, game since the Season 3 update, or I think it the new sector space was before the season three update, or was it after? I think it was. I think it was before. Maybe a little bit. I don't know. So here I am, and here is the galaxy, which will soon include the Beta Z sector. Maybe one day, hopefully. And Bomari, Bomari. Here it is, Ferengi merchant. Go away, Ferengi merchant. We don't want to buy your stuff. The Bomari system is right here, at the very edge of the sector. And at the very edge of the sector block, so it's kind of both. So, yeah. I don't know why that's important, but for some reason it is. Klingons! 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 Goddamn, Klingons are everywhere, I tell you. Not that they seem to be doing much, since all these Federation ships are flying around unimpeded. To be honest, the size of the Klingon player base compared to the Federation player base, if it ever did become an open PvP, con PvP I'm sorry, conflict, it would be over fairly quickly. Because we are Starfleet. We outnumber them, literally, like a hundred to one. Okay, enter the Bomari system. Should I start reading the uh, system descriptions? I should, because these missions are going to be really short because I'm so OP for them. Astronomers have theorized that the thick asteroid belt surrounding this planet may be the remains of another planet. The cores of the larger asteroids have significant amounts of nickel, iron, and magnesium. Starships in the area were warned that maneuvering... Were warned... Ah... Starships in the area were warned that maneuvering near these asteroids may be difficult. They're not. In fact, it looks rather cool. There was the site of a patrol mission here, but I'm not doing the patrol missions. Although, there has been talk of making them repeatable, if I'm not mistaken. As our alliance can confirm that, I'm sure that he's going to be sticking around to tell me how much I suck. Loading... 
New loading screens are pretty, but they're a loading screen. I can't really disguise that. Captain, we are approaching the signal repeater. Starfleet has reported hostile ships in the area, so we should be cautious. I recommend we use a tactic developed during the Dominion War. We should maneuver close to the large, ionized metallic asteroids. Being close to one of them may disrupt enemy sensors and make us practically invisible. Now, generally, I don't have to fucking do this. I can chew these guys and spit them out, but I'm Starfleet, so I'm going to do my damnedest to uh, avoid a con armed conflict whenever possible, because damn it, that's what we do. It's what Captain Picard would have done. And really, I'm so fast that this is not shit they can do anyway, so... we. Eat my dust. Oh, spaghettios. Warning, ship is under attack. Well, crap. I suppose you guys are just going to look the other way. Is that a no? Disruptor breach. Huh. Captain, hull is down 1%. Okay. I gave you a chance. And now you die. I don't want to exterminate the Klingons, it's just that they're so damn hell bent on exterminating me. That and they're idiots. Scan. Scan it! I command you! Hello? 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 What the hell's going on? There we go. Captain, I've piggybacked a carrier wave on the signal from the repeater and tracked the signal to the source. There is a listening base located between the binary moons of Banari 2. Of course, are the moons of Banari 2 laid in, sir. We can warp at your command. Warp to Banari 2. That's a fucking Tethys dreadnought! What the shit? Okay, there is a Tethys Dreadnought there. <laughs> I have exited and re-entered the mission because I accidentally clicked it before I could see that. We see the Tethys Dreadnought in its natural habitat. Notice that it floats doing nothing. Hello, 8472. Make peace, not... Oh, shit. I'll pang you and set you on fire. Farewell. Wow. First you just let a fucking infiltrator run right past you, and then there's a Undine ship floating right fucking here, and none of you Klingons scattered around the entire asteroid field see it. Is it me? 
Is it just me who thinks the Klingons are idiots? Explain that shit. Wow. Anyways, let's go to Bomari 2 and stop the signal. Oh, I didn't read it. Shit. I have to read that. Captain, I pick it back the carrier wave on the signal from the repeater and track the signal to the source. There's a listening base located between the binary moons of Bomari 2. Course of the moons of Bomari 2 laid in, sir. We can warp on your command. I may have just read that twice. I just wanted to make sure. What? <laughs> Weirdest warp ever. Captain, I'm detecting a Klingon transporter disruption field around the listening post. The field is being maintained by four transporter disruptors. We'll need to destroy them before we can transport down to the listening post. Alright. Hey there. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna blow you up. That should be enough. You are next. Oh, he's seen me. Oh. A raptor attack. From Birds of Prey. It's kind of weird. Okay, whatever. You guys are actually using strategy. Too bad it doesn't work. Com obsessive compulsive tendencies. Cannot resist. Must scan. Scan it. Okay. You know what? Let's see, where's the music? Where is the music? Let's go ahead and let's see. There we go. Sorry guys, it's force of habit. I play with the music off. Because the music is randomly selected, and it's just, ugh, it, it, gets, it gets on my nerves. It's not that the music is bad, it's just the random nature of when it plays, you know, means that it can play sometimes when it is kind of inappropriate for it to do so. So I tend to, like, play music that sort of fits the situation, or just the mood of where I am at the moment. Okay, there's one over here. And there's probably a Klingon here somewhere. Wow. It pops when I shot a Harpang at it. another enemy there. If you're another 8472, if that is another 8472. Oh no, it's just a bird of prey. I'll send you to Stovacor so your friends won't be lonely. Where is that listening post? Ooh, it's up there. The scrambling field is down, sir. We can transport a team into the listening post as soon as you are ready. Beam down. 
Except. Adjust my chair. Oh, Badlands, we'll get to you eventually. You're actually a challenging mission with the new ground combat. Probably not so much now that I've discovered my shotgun melee kit combination that I'm going to be using forever and a day now. I used to roll around with dual snipers. Now I'm rolling around with dual shotguns, at least when I'm fighting Borg. That's one of the most bizarre things about the ground combat update is the Borg are actually entertaining to fight now. I have no idea how that happened. They're yelling about spies. Sir, we have received authorization from Starfleet to destroy this facility. It is considered vital to our war effort to protect our transmissions from enemy reception. Well, yeah. I recommend we plant spatial charges throughout the area. If we target the plasma heat exchangers, it should cause a chain reaction that will destroy the facility. Alright. You guys wait here, because I'm already OP enough. Plant spatial charge. Get out my anti-proton shotgun. Should I go anti-proton or polaron? Anti-proton or polaron? Anti-proton or polaron? Let's go polaron. Let's get all polaron. Anti-proton. Let's get all anti-proton in this bizatch. Hi! Die. Excuse me! Go away! Spurn power cell. Give me chronometric! So I found, throughout, through a lot of testing, I found that the combination that works for me is the RPG controls combined with a shotgun and a melee kit. I've also got a mat Tribble. Um, I think it's mat. I gave my uh, Rivera Tribble to one of my bridge officers since the buffs are kind of not as much as it buffs as the mat Tribble buffs me. Hi. Fire! 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 Responsive, my ass. And you all just... Thank you. Was that me or was that them? I don't know. Okay, a bunch of Klingons in this room. Don't mind me, I'm just going to be planting bombs here to kill you all. Nothing to see here. Nothing at all. Die. Is is the UI control? The thing is, you have to hit like the one or the two key if you want to use it reliably, because the UI controls aren't working at all. And these idiots are just gonna sort of sit there and do their jobs. I'm not gonna mess with them, cause you know what? Let them work. There's nothing wrong with them being hard workers, even though I'm about to kill them and they're about to die. So I'm just gonna run in front of all you guys and plant this bomb here in plain sight. Then I'm gonna run across the view screen. Nobody pay attention to the Starfleet officer laying bombs in your facility to kill you all. That's okay. Oh, you're gonna die. Okay, first off, back off. Go away. Second off, I'ma kill you. I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you. So, what used to be a uh, leg sweep has now become a three-hit combo, which pretty much eliminates the need for melee weapons. Which I kind of like. I like to have two different kinds of guns. It was kind of hard choosing which weapons you wanted to you wanted to take and having to use a, having to slot a melee weapon. And I somehow deposited that bomb right beneath me, which is kind of awesome. Not in a good way, but still awesome. So let's see. None of you saw any of that. None of you saw the firefight with a swordmaster. Spatial charges are armed and ready, Captain. Sir, it might be useful to determine the listening post's range. If you establish a link between the computer core and the Waglinde, we should be able to download all of the data. I'm gonna come up here and kill your boss. That's okay. Ugh. 
Ah, drop kick. The drop kick is awesome. None of you heard anything. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow, you guys are really stupid. Oh, yeah. Oh, hi. What's up with you? Wow, you guys are really, really stupid. So, considering how brain dead these guys are, conceivably you could just stand up there while they spawn combat targs and just kill them constantly for the experience. But I'm a Starfleet officer. I've got shit to do, so I'm going to go down there and kill them all. Because, God damn it, that's what Captain Picard would do. He wouldn't do it with a shotgun, but I'm pretty sure he'd do it. <laughs> 